let me ask you a question. Have you ever reacted in the heat of a moment in a way, you know, that you later regretted? Yes. Well, I have done that many, many times. Right. You know, intense emotions can easily overwhelm our senses and they can have a very powerful impact on our behavior. Hey, this is Rajiv Kumar Love and I welcome you to this video. In this video, I want to, you know, tell you something about the pause button and why and when you should hit the pause button. You know, it is uh, impossible to think clearly when your whole body is flooded with feelings. So here's a 60 second, you know, exercise that can reduce the duration and intensity of those strong emotions so that, you know, you can make mindful choices on how to best respond to the situation in front of you. So, you know, the moment you become aware of these strong emotions coming at you, the first thing you need to do is, you know, visualize this huge red pause button and you hitting that pause button, right? And then you have to wait for 60 seconds. Don't do anything. If you want, you can put a timer on your, you know, smartphone. And it's very important that you don't do what that strong emotion is asking you to do. So what you need to do is you need to stay present with that emotion. You need to pay attention to your thoughts. You need to pay attention to the feelings that are coming up. You need to pay attention to the body sensations that are happening. And then after those 60 seconds have passed, you know, you ask yourself, what is the most appropriate, you know, thing I can say or what is the most appropriate thing I can do in this situation? And then go ahead and do that. I hope you found the video useful. Yes, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. I would request you to please like and comment and share my video and also press the bell icon so that you keep getting notifications when my new videos are uploaded. So thanks for watching this video. I'll be back with yet another video. Until then, take care.